February 1st of 2016, a body was found in the wooded area north of East Magnolia Avenue in Eunice. Following an autopsy, the death was ruled a homicide, the cause of death a gunshot wound. DNA test results identified the body as that of Akeem Caesar, age 22. Mr. Caesar had been reported missing and last seen December 24th of 2015. As the investigation progressed, we identified several people of interest. February 14th, the Eunice Police Department learned of the arrest of two of the persons of interest in San Angelo, Texas, following a vehicle pursuit and foot chase. The two individuals were identified as Philip LaFleur, age 22, and Candace Vidrine, age 21, both of Eunice. Two handguns were found by Texas authorities subsequent to the arrest. The handguns had been reported stolen during a burglary in Eunice just days before. Neither of these handguns are suspected to be the murder weapon. LaFleur and Vidrine were in a stolen vehicle at the time and both are facing charges in Texas. I had investigators go to Texas to follow up with our investigations involving the murder of Akeem and the recent burglary. Evidence and information received during the cooperative investigation with Texas authorities established probable cause to believe that Philip LaFleur is responsible for the death of Akeem Caesar. Probable cause has also been established to believe that Candace Vidrine participated in or at least had knowledge of the murder. As a result of these recent developments, we will be obtaining warrants for the arrest of LaFleur and Vidrine for second degree murder as well as other charges. Once the warrants have been prepared, we will begin the proceedings to necessary for their extradition back to Louisiana, which may take some time because of the pending charges they are currently facing in Texas. I would like to thank the Unit City Marshal's Office, the Houston Area U.S. Marshal's Office, and the San Angelo Police Department for their assistance in this investigation. Also want to express sincere gratitude to the two investigators who have been working relentlessly on this case and are currently on their return trip from San Angelo, Detective Robert Brickley and Lieutenant Ryan Young. This is still a very active investigation, and I ask anyone having information, no matter how minor you may think that information may be, please call the Eunice Police Department with that information at 457-2626. Thank you. Any questions? Have you established what a murder weapon was, what kind of weapon it was? And you it was a handgun. Do you have that in your possession? Not at this time. you know where it is? We are still looking into that. We have some leads on it. We're still looking into it. How do you know it's a handgun? Uh, from the information received during the investigation in San Angelo and evidence found at the scene. Well, was it just a one gunshot wound and and also do you know where it was on, on him? There was a gunshot wound that was the result of the death. Okay. And that's that's all the information we can release okay. at this time about that. Okay. What motive would they have had to, to, to kill him? That is still uh, under investigation at this time. Any evidence of a robbery or? Uh, not in relation to the homicide. <coughs> Have family members been notified of, um, of, these, of these arrests? Uh, the family was notified uh, about an hour ago. Uh, we did let them know what was going on and what information we had received. You say the arrests of the individuals were in Texas? They were arrested in Texas on charges originating in Texas. Were, were they from Eunice? The individuals? Yes. There was the two individuals from Eunice that were arrested in Texas. What charges did they have in Texas against? Uh, they had charges of unauthorized use of a movable because they were in a stolen vehicle. Uh, I think he was also charged with a felon being in possession of firearms. And there were some other charges involved. I'm not sure what they all are. Just, I don't have that information with me at this point. Were those all against uh, LaFleur? 
Uh, Lafleur and Vidrine were both facing charges in Texas. And are where are they originally from? Both are originally from Eunice. But do they have a record with you all? Uh, Yes, they do. Well, I don't know. Philip does. How long do you think extradition is going to take? That depends on the uh, how they handle the charges in Texas, and also whether or not uh, they will waive extradition. If they don't waive extradition, then we'll have to seek the governor's warrant to get them back. <coughs> Did they resist arrest in Texas? Was there any problem with that? They were charged with uh, <coughs> flight. They did flee in the vehicle, and once the vehicle stopped, they did flee on foot. Okay, if nobody else has any other questions, uh, we do want to extend our sincere sympathy, sympathy to the family. Uh, I know they've been through a lot, and this has been a very challenging ordeal for them. Uh, They've worked with us very well, and we appreciate that and appreciate your patience. We know it took us a long time, uh, and probably to you it seemed like months, but we, we appreciate your patience. And this is still an ongoing investigation. We're far from finished. We still have a lot left to do with it. Thank you.